Red Strike Elite Blasters bring you more fun, action, and excitement than ever before for you and your friends. The new Motorized Strike. Slam Firing Strong Arm. And Light Beam Targeting Fire Strike have you firing further than any Nerf and Strike Blaster. Up to 75 feet. New Strike, Fire Strike, and Strong Arm. Each sold separately, batteries not included. More info at Nerf.com. It's Nerf or nothing. Since the 70s, Nerf has been making toys for all ages. It has become a household name known for their bright colored guns, soft darts, and specialized sports balls. Nerf has even become a blanket term for any toy gun that shoots foam darts, even though there are many other brands out on the market. But what is it, and what makes them so popular? Nerf projectiles are made from a solid, spongy, cellular material produced when polyester resin reacts with another compound in the presence of CO2. It's during this process that tiny air pockets are formed in the material, making it a soft foam that's safe to use. It was first invented by the Parker Brothers Company where they used the foam to make small 4-inch balls. They were advertised as being the first safe indoor ball. It was a huge success that led them to making larger balls with some additional accessories. In 1972, they created the Super Nerf Ball, which was then used in a game they called Nerf Loop, which was a small indoor game of basketball. Later, they would create Nerf footballs and soccer balls. 1980 was the year that the first Nerf guns were created. They were the Ball Blaster, which fired 4-inch Nerf balls. This led to the rise of a new toy product that every child wanted. It wasn't until well, 1992 that the first this Nerf weapon that shoot light. darts came out. This is my Since then, shot. countless different That's types of gun. Nerf guns have been Bolt made. Action. Six clips. Shoots. This is a recon. It's the older version of the Retaliator. This is a Spectre. There are handguns, Plotted. rifles, Plotted. rocket Plotted. Plotted. Launchers, crossbows, bows and arrows, and shotgun-styled Nerf guns. This is an element pistol. A lot like the Nightfinder, has a weaker spring though, doesn't really shoot that well. All these options and there are the front, many types of accessories ranging from scopes Mine has to been vests. Modded, so it has a flashlight in it. This is a really old thing. I have no idea what the name of it is. This oh. is a jolt. As you can see, there's duct tape on it. This is a rail attachment to the recon, but instead I duct taped the jolt to it. So, instant front gun. This is my Hellfire. Elizabeth. Well, I've modded her just a bit to take off the uh, drum. This, well, this is Maverick. Uh, I got this a while ago. It's been modded. This is the recon. The way the gun's fire is completely different for each gun, too. Some are fully automatic. Some are semi automatic. Some store and release energy. And others are pump action. And it doesn't stop there. There are many types of darts. There are suction darts, whistler darts, streamline darts, dart tag darts, glow in the dark darts, and elite darts. It is easy to see that there is quite a bit of options to make the gun an extension of your personality. This is my Alpha Trooper. Killed many a fake zombie in my day with this gun. This gun is the gun that won the West, except we're on the East, so it's the gun that won the East, except we're in Maine, it's the Northeast, specifically Maine, it's the gun that won Maine, Unity College, won Unity College, not all of Maine, it was just Unity College, but yeah. The Alpha Trooper. But why exactly are people so interested in Nerf guns? Well, I like Nerf guns because I can shoot people without killing them. <sighs> which is actually a detracting factor of Nerf guns. But I suppose I can make do. Since I can't have guns out of public safety. And uh, I enjoy using Nerf guns because they make the most annoying sound in the world when cycling them. So you can piss off all the RAs and they can come outside, storm around and tell you to stop. That's really funny. <laughs> I'd have to say the, uh, the uh, amount of freedom that you can have with these guns, the different things that you can do with them. You can make them more powerful, you can make them look like your favorite weapons from TV shows. Just 
you can have just fun with it. Just run out in the hallway shooting each other. It's just good old fun. It's fun. And it's not like rifles where you have to register them or anything. You can just kind of boom, shoot stuff. I have to say that's the fact of, uh, you know, you're not supposed to customize them legally. The, all, everything you can do with them. I mean, go online and watch any video of what people have done and it's crazy. There are many different stories and explanations of why people love Nerf. But what really got them into Nerf? Pretty much HVZ at the beginning of college. Popped my first Nerf gun, said, hey, this is really cool. And then I spent way too much money on the rest of them. Well, I think I got my first Nerf gun when I was about 12. I've been relatively into it ever since. And then when I came to college, Humans vs. Zombies. And that really got me back into it. Humans vs. Zombies coming up here to college just Suddenly, I needed a Nerf gun, and then I got a Nerf gun, fired it, and realized, hey, these things are fun. So I went out, got me more, and I got more, and more. Well, what got me interested in Nerf guns, uh, when I was just a wee lad, I wanted a toy gun, uh, and then I found these Nerf guns, which I could shoot my sister in the face with, and not get in too much trouble with my parents. So bought myself a Nerf gun when I was just a, a lad. It was just a Maverick and a, one of those night finders with the lasers. And uh, shot my way to college where I bought myself an Alpha Trooper to repair for humans versus zombies. Outside of just shooting people, there are entire groups and even organized games that involve Nerf guns. People often have Nerf wars, which are giant battles or standoffs where people form teams and attack each other with their guns. There is even an entire game centered around Nerf guns and zombies. HVZ is Humans vs. Zombies. Humans vs. Zombies. HVZ is an event that happens uh, annually now on Unity College campus, which allows us to shoot zombies. You've got one person that starts out as the original zombie, and they have to try and infect as many people as possible. All the people playing around with Nerf guns and sock grenades, which are just socks that you throw, and they do the same amount of damage as a Nerf gun. You shoot the zombies so you don't get tagged into a zombie. Once you become a zombie, you have 48 hours before you are dead. And basically, don't get tagged or else you're a zombie too. Eventually over the week, the original zombie infects more and more people and eventually you have an entire swarm of zombies. So we run around campus like idiots, shooting each other. It's pretty fun. Nearly every college in the country hosts a game of HVZ for their students for at least one week out of the year. Nerf has been part of modern society for a long time, and it looks like it isn't going away. Why is it so popular? Why do people love collecting and playing with Nerf guns? In the end, there is only one way to truly understand Nerf. It's to pick up a gun and have fun. It's Nerf or nothing. It's Nerf or nothing. It's Nerf or nothing. It's Nerf or nothing. It's Nerf or nothing.